Hi everyone, I'm Rachel McAllister, I'm one of the actors at Pitlochry Festival Theatre and today I'm going to be talking to you about one of the greatest American playwrights in history, uh, Mr Tennessee Williams. So Williams is thought of as one of the most prominent figures in 20th century writing and his works have been immortalised by the big screen and they are still being performed today. He was born Thomas Williams in 1911 and he grew up in a rather dysfunctional family. So his father worked away a lot when he was young and was also prone to violence and alcohol. Um, his family um, lived with his grandparents when he was very young and he actually almost died when he was a young boy from a case of diphtheria. Um, his elder sister Rose, she suffered with a mental illness which led to her actually being institutionalised later in life. So his early life and his adolescence were quite difficult. Um, he began writing from an early age and he was actually published while he was still at high school. Um, and he decided to go to university to study journalism and he kept writing while he was there. However, at the end of his second year, his father withdrew him from study and made him get a job alongside him at the International Shoe Factory. And so Williams absolutely hated this job. He called it the most miserable years of his life. But it would provide really good material later in life and inspire his later works and characters. Um, so at the age of 24, he was miserable in his job, he wasn't fulfilled and he actually had a nervous breakdown and had to go and stay with his grandparents for a while. Um, he left his job and then eventually he returned to university. He graduated in 1938 with a BA in English and during this time he started to write plays. And it was also whilst at university that he adopted the name Tennessee. Apparently it was a nickname given to him by his university friends um, because he was from the South. Um, so after he graduated, um, he was looking for his big break and it took a long time to come. He struggled. He had a string of jobs and couldn't get any momentum with his writing. Um, he won a couple of um, found a scholarships and he got given a couple of little jobs but he just couldn't get that big break. Luckily that came for him in 1944 with The Glass Menagerie. So that debuted in Chicago and opened to very small audiences, we weren't that bothered but the reviews and um, the reception of it was so great that towards the end of the run it was completely sold out and eventually transferred to New York and he gained much success from this. So this was followed by A Streetcar Named Desire in 1947 and these plays really cemented his status as a great playwright. So over the next 10 years he would have seven of his plays open in New York and this would win him two Pulitzer Prizes, a Tony Award and many other awards and accolades. Um, so five of his plays that came out during this time were immortalised by Hollywood and they were made into movies. And this brought his words and his stories to a whole new audience. So he was very successful at this time. So he continued to write into the 1960s but he had a lot of personal struggles and this meant that he could not replicate the success that he had had. Um, he struggled with drugs, he struggled with alcohol and he had depression and but he kept writing all the way through this um, but his plays just didn't have the same um, reception that they had in the previous years. So why why do we still perform these plays? Why why is he so successful? Why are we still talking about him? Um, and I think the thing that makes him special is that more than with most authors, Tennessee Williams puts his personal life and experiences directly into his dramas. They are the subject matter. Um, he uses experience so that he can universalise them on stage. So when an audience can go, they can relate to it or they can see experiences that maybe they've had that they didn't think other people had and um, it makes it more open and they can understand that they're not alone. Um, one of his directors actually said of Williams that everything in his life is in his plays and everything in his plays is in his life. So because of that, he... Um, 
he wrote of the South, where he knew he placed his characters in this kind of often romanticised setting um, that was his home when he was growing up. But he wasn't afraid to juxtapose this, um, this romanticised setting with violence and the ugly things in life. And in fact, he didn't gloss over or shy away from any difficult subject matter. He embraced it. And this could often be controversial, but what it did was it led to the stories that we keep telling. Um, another reason why people love his writing is because of his characters. His characters are all have a unique voice. They are all um, wholly realised people and they're fundamentally flawed. Uh, we see his characters full of uncertainty, doubt, mystery, confusion, and he's quoted with saying of his writing, what I am writing about is human nature. Human relations are terrifyingly ambiguous. If you write a character that isn't ambiguous, you're writing a false character, not a true one. That's words to write by. So in total, Tennessee Williams wrote 25 full-length plays, five screenplays, over 70 one-act plays, hundreds of short stories, two novels, poetry, and a memoir. That's a lot of writing that he did. Um, so I hope that you enjoyed this brief snapshot about Tennessee Williams and learning a little bit along with me and I will see you soon.